Kids online. My name is Miss Brooke, and if you are in preschool or kindergarten, then you are in the right place because you are my New Hope Nuggets, tiny but mighty, but also very, very precious. And this video is for you, so I'm so glad you're here today. So we are in the middle of this series called Challenge Accepted, and it's kind of all about the challenges that we have, and we're also challenging ourselves to learn more about Jesus. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me ask you a question. Today we're going to talk about a concept about what to do when we feel tempted. Now, do you guys know what the word tempted means? Well, really, it just means when we really, 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 really want to do something, but we know we shouldn't. Can you think of something that you might be tempted to do? Well, sometimes I get tempted by delicious snacks. I mean, there's always candy in my office and I am just sometimes tempted to eat so much of it. Now, I also know that it's not very good for me. It's bad for my teeth and it's gonna give me a stomach ache if I ate a, eat a whole lot of it. But just because we're tempted to do something doesn't mean we need to do it. We can choose to stop. We can kind of choose to just let that go. So the thing is that we're all tempted to do things sometimes that we shouldn't do. And sometimes it almost feels like we can't control ourselves. Well, in today's Bible story, we're going to learn that um, there's something that we can do when we're tempted. And today's Bible story is going to show us what to do when we do feel tempted. So the story today is about Jesus being tempted. And he was tempted to do some things that were wrong. Can you believe that? That Jesus was even tempted? Well, the Bible tells us that it really happened. See, there was this one time that Jesus was in the desert and there were like all oh, this sand and rocks and it was really hot and dry. And he was there for 40 days. Now, Jesus wasn't lost. He went there on purpose because he wanted to be able to focus on God and to pray. 
So he's there for 40 days and he, the Bible tells us that he didn't have anything to eat. Now he must have been really, really tired and hungry after that time. Well, guess what? That's when the devil showed up and he tried to trick Jesus. Can you believe that? I mean, the devil is an old enemy of Jesus and he was trying to trick him into doing wrong things. So the first thing that he did, put your number one finger up. First thing he did was the devil said, Jesus, if you're really the son of God, then take these rocks and turn them into bread. Now, Jesus knew that he wasn't going to do something just because the devil said to. I'm sure he could have changed those rocks into bread because he's God, right? But he wasn't going to do it just because God, just because Jesus, uh, he wasn't going to do it just because the devil said to. And he didn't like that the, that, um, the devil was making fun of God's words. So he just said no. And he didn't do it. So the next thing that happened was that the devil took Jesus to this really high city, this really tall place in this really high city. And they could see like everything. And then the devil kept promising Jesus all of this stuff. And he said, Jesus, if you jump, then the angels are going to catch you. Because the devil knew that the angels weren't going to let Jesus get hurt. But you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, no. Again, he didn't like the fact that the devil was making fun of God's words. So the third thing that happened was this time the devil tried to tempt Jesus with a whole bunch of like treasures and power and stuff like that. And he told Jesus, he said, Jesus, if you would stop obeying God and start obeying me, then I'm going to give you all this really great stuff. Well, again, Jesus said no. And guess what? After Jesus said no for that third time, the Bible tells us that the devil just poof, went away from him. He left him alone after that. I mean, each time Jesus was tempted, he remembered God and he stayed strong. He said no to the devil and he said no to being tempted. And you know, I'm kind of glad that Jesus can help me when I'm tempted too. Hey friends, I have some great news. I don't have to wear the cast on my arm anymore. I feel so much better. It was removed yesterday after lots and lots of care from my mom, my doctor, and lots of rest. So now, I can play softball again. Yay! And guess what? I have a friend over today, Cadence! Hi, everyone! I'm super excited Cadence is here because now I can play the games that I love to play. For example, I have this super duper challenge for you. A challenge? I know you pretty well, so I have a feeling that you're going to enjoy this challenge. Bring it on! Oh my! You sound ready! I'm always up for a challenge. What is it? So, have you ever heard of egg and spoon? I know what an egg is and I know what a spoon is. What is this challenge? The rules are, you have an egg on a spoon and you're supposed to walk across the room without the egg falling off the spoon. Except, we're going to use a ball instead of an egg because my mom would not be happy about me dropping an egg on the floor. That sounds easy. But you can't hold the ball and the spoon with the other hand. I have to put the ball on the spoon and then walk? Yep, and your other hand has to be behind your back. That sounds hard. So, do you accept this challenge? Fine, challenge accepted.
how you really wanted to use two hands instead of one. I think today's Bible story will tell us a little bit about saying no to things we're not supposed to do. Wanna listen to the Bible story with me? Absolutely, I could use a break after the challenge. It's time for our Bible story. Today, we will learn another amazing story about Jesus. Great! In this story, Jesus is tempted to do things that were wrong. What does tempted mean? Tempted is when we want to do something really bad, but it's not the right thing to do. Like what? Maybe take a cookie that your mom told you not to take. You really want to listen, but you really love cookies too. Oh yes, that happens a lot. So Jesus was tempted not to eat cookies, but he was in the desert where it was very hot and dry. The desert was covered in sand and rocks. For how long? Jesus was in the desert for 40 days and he didn't have anything to eat. Jesus was tired and also very hungry. Why didn't he eat something? Jesus chose to go without food so he could only focus on talking to God. Oh, I see. Jesus knew that God was preparing him to do something great, so he needed to get ready. Soon, the devil came along and tried to trick Jesus. The devil is an old enemy of Jesus who kept trying to make Jesus do bad things. First, the devil tried to get Jesus to turn stones into bread. Jesus was really hungry and he could have done it, but Jesus said no. Great job, Jesus. It didn't stop there. Second, the devil took Jesus up to a really high place in the city. The devil tried to tempt Jesus again to jump and make angels catch him. Jesus said no. Jesus knew the devil was trying to trick him. So the devil tried to tempt Jesus a third time. This time, the devil told Jesus that he would give him all sorts of treasures if Jesus would stop obeying God and started obeying the devil. I know how this ends. Jesus told the devil no. You got it. After that time, the devil left Jesus alone. And do you remember those angels that the devil tried to get Jesus to call on? They came and took care of Jesus after that. Because Jesus obeyed God? That's right. Jesus could have done all the things that the devil told him to do. But Jesus knew that's not what God wanted him to do. So even though he was tired, hungry, and very weak, Jesus said no to the devil and said yes to God. That story reminded me of the challenge you just gave me. Really? Yes, the game was a bit tough and I had to use one hand, but I did it. That's a great point. You were tempted to use your other hand. But you didn't though. Sometimes I need help when I'm tempted to do something that I shouldn't. Me too. One time I found a really cool toy at school and I wanted to keep it, but it wasn't the right thing to do. Cadence, that was the best choice. Something like that happened to me too. I'm so glad Jesus helps me when I'm tempted. Jesus thinks he's big and strong. I think it's your turn to do the challenge. I thought you never asked. Catch you next time, friends. Okay, let's do this. You know, I am so glad that I know that Jesus will always help me when I'm tempted. I mean, think about it. When Jesus was in that desert, the devil tried to tempt him three different times. I mean, crazy, huh? That he would try to trick Jesus? That's kind of crazy. But every time... What did Jesus say? Jesus just said, no. I mean, I have a little rock here. Look at that. See the stone? Does that remind you of the story? Do you remember what the devil told Jesus to do with that stone? He told him to turn it into bread. And it was because he knew that Jesus was so hungry. He told him, hey, if you're so great, turn that rock into bread. But Jesus may have been tempted. But he said, no, because in the end, Jesus wanted to obey God, not listen to the devil. So I think that it's really good to keep in mind that, that God can help us when we're tempted too. He can help us do the right thing, even when we're tempted to do things we're not supposed to. I'm so glad that Jesus can help us when we're tempted. So do you guys remember the memory verse we've been working on? It's 1 John 5, 5, and it goes like this. It says, who, do you remember who? Who is it that overcomes 
the world. Only the one who believes Jesus is the son of God. Good job, guys. Keep working on it. We still have one more week to practice that verse. So um, let's pray together, okay? Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son. Thank you for showing us that even Jesus was tempted and that just like him, we can say no and we can walk away. Jesus, help, uh, help us to be strong like you were. Help us to say no to the things we know we're not supposed to do and help us to obey God. Thank you so much for loving us and thank you for being there for us every single day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today. I hope that you guys have had a great time today. And I hope that you remember all week that Jesus can help you when you're tempted. See you later and have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.